Hello, VIP Kid teacher Stephanie QQ here. This is a newly updated walkthrough for the VIP Kid interview, My Feelings. Um, I did this interview uh, almost two years ago now. I did mine live with an interviewer um, from Beijing, but typically referrals um, or, well, my referrals. Applicants are taking um, the interview. Uh, they're doing the recorded version. They're not doing it live any longer. Um, very rarely it's offered. I think they're just backed up. They're so, so, so many applicants every week. Um, so the recorded version is what most applicants are getting, uh, which is not a big deal at all. It's actually a little less stressful for most people. And it's still the um, the same, you know, same thing, basically. Instead of reacting um, and uh, making adjustments to an actual person pretending to be five, I'm just doing it to my imaginary student now, uh, which which is very much what I do in these walkthroughs that I make. So um, it'll actually be possibly a little less stressful for you, um, a little easier um, on your nerves. So it's actually, it's not a bad option at all. Um, you do have to keep in mind that this is still going to establish your base pay. So you still want to do a really great job. You want to be prepared. You want to have ran through this lesson several, several times. And, um, you know, make those, make those pretend corrections as you go. Remember, um, students are not perfect. So they do want to see the adaptability. They want to see, you know, maybe more than one method of trying something if it doesn't work. So make sure that you do um, show that off. All right, so before we get started, I just wanted to um, mention how I can help you as a referring teacher. Um, I have been referring. Um, I started a few months after I got hired since I had a few friends interested and I made so many resources for them. I just figured I may as well um, keep going. So it's really easy to add a referring teacher now. It used to be difficult. You had to like email if you already started. It was kind of a pain. Um, but now you can actually do it um, in your account center. So yours is going to look slightly different than mine. But in your upper right hand corner, you'll see where it just says account center. If you already have a referring teacher and unfortunately sometimes people click on links and they get stuck with someone um, that might not reach out to them in a system at all. So it's, it's kind of sad. Um, they will not change um, referring teachers anymore. They used to about 10, 11 months back, they stopped. Um, but anyway, if you already have one, then their name will be there right there. Ooh, my camera's having a hard time focusing. Um, it says Stephanie QQ. This was one of my referrals, obviously. So if it says nothing, though, that means you do not have a referring teacher. So if you would like to add me, my code is, um, it'll say add referral code and mine is Steph, S-T-E-P-H, 0118. By doing that, I'll be able to assist you one-on-one. -on -one. I can answer your questions pretty much 24-7 um, via email, via Facebook Messenger, um, whatever you're more comfortable with. And then I'll also invite you to my private Facebook group. I have a lot of resources there. I have props lists for every single level, every single unit, every single lesson you could possibly teach after being hired. Um, I have um, how-to videos. I have IT videos. I have um, any updates from VIP Kids that I see. I have um, all sorts of different um, resources for uh, examples, uh, classroom examples, you know, things you might be able to use, um, just anything, anything that you could possibly need, um, printouts for different characters and stuff that you might need. So I continually add to that as often as I can um, for my applicants um, who are still in the hiring process and for um, current teachers as well. So I won't abandon you after you're hired. I'll help you establish bookings. I'll look at your profile with you, um, help you do your introduction video, all of that good stuff. Um, so if you would like assistance from a referring teacher, I'd be super excited if you added me. And I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. So like I said, just contact me after you add me and you'll be added to my list instantly. I'll be able to check and we can get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, my last video wasn't super, super long, but it was a lot of me talking about what I was doing. So if you want to watch my older My Feelings video, I'll explain what I'm doing a little bit more. With this one, I'm not going to because I want it to be faster. So I want you to be able to watch it and fast forward if you'd like to, save you even more time. Um, but I'd like you to be able to watch it and um, kind of see the pacing and see, you know, the full 10 minutes, kind of how that works with the slides. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Hello. My name is Teacher Stephanie. What is your name? Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Hmm. Sarah, how old are you? Are you four years old? Five? Very good. I am five years old. Yes, good sentence. Well done, Sarah. Hmm. Sarah, how are you? Are you fine? Are you happy? 
I am happy. Happy to meet you. <laughs> okay, Sarah, when you do a good job, we will make this girl so pretty. So pretty. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> All right, so since I introduced my reward on the introduction slide, I always do this. I usually use um, the manicam rewards. I usually don't um, use physical rewards. Uh, you can use the included reward system. It's the monkeys and bananas. I do advise probably printing this out and maybe, you know, using a felt monkey. Um, um, or a stuffed monkey and some little, you know, paper bananas you can pretend to feed them or felt bananas you can pretend to feed them. It's going to be a lot more exciting than um, than just looking at that flat paper. I mean, you can just stick them on if you want to, you know, and play it safe. But you're going to get more points on your rubric score if you do something a little more creative. But if you um, do something completely different, you know, marbles in a jar, um, you know, feed the bear apples, you know, um, you know, how many bows can you put in your hair, you know, lots of different things. The possibilities are endless. Um, I just want to show you a quick trip. Uh, trick on this one it's going to be on the right hand side it's actually going to be on the left um in the classroom uh down here i don't know if you can see it on my phone it's kind of hard to see there is a way to type in the page number that you want to skip to so you don't have to actually hit the over arrow and pass by and show this reward system slide on your screen. You can skip it completely. So I always, with my lessons, I introduce my reward on the introductory slide, and then I go either to slide three or slide four, depending on what type of lesson it is, and I skip directly to the song or the chant. I don't go over the actual reward system slide because I'm not doing that one. Um, so it's kind of odd for the kids to be like, oh, what, what? there's bananas flying by. Why? Um, so I skip that completely, and if you need to do that, then you just type in, you know, go from one, it'll already say one, type in three, and I'll skip it directly. So that's what I do, but you do whatever makes you feel most comfortable. If you do the monkeys and bananas, you probably want to show that slide to explain it. All right, so on this slide, it is... Um it says chant or um, say the poem with the student. I usually um, like to sing a little bit, especially in the beginning. It gets them talking a little bit more. Um, microphone is a good prop to have. It'll kind of, you know, uh, let them know it's their turn. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of sing this. Some of them give you a tune. Some of them don't. This one kind of works with Are You Sleeping or Frere Jaca a little bit. It's not quite right. They usually aren't, but it works fairly well. So that's what I'm going to use. You can, you can just say it if you would like to. Um, all right, so here we go. Let's sing la 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 when I am sad. Okay, so they're repeating me. They're saying when I am sad. I feel like crying. Crying. Good job. Good job. <gasps> when I feel angry. Angry. <laughs> I look this way. Urgh. I look this way. <laughs> good job, good job. <gasps> when I feel happy, I smile all day. Good job, beautiful singing. <gasps> I am happy. Very good. Very good. All right, Sarah, here's a star. <laughs> you won't have stars, but that's okay. The kids always get stars in their real lessons. You won't have a star. You'll just do your secondary reward system during the interview. Hmm. Sunglasses. Hmm. <laughs> she needs sunglasses. <laughs> I usually try to incorporate like vocabulary or, you know, whatever extras I can in my rewards. The parents really enjoy it. You know, sometimes some of the lessons can feel a little bit light on vocabulary content. Um, so anytime you can do a little bit of extra um, review um, or extra vocabulary with rewards, the parents really like it. All right. So let's go to the next slide. Hmm. What letter is this? This is letter M. Mm. Mm. Very good, very good. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Mouse? Yes. 
or no? Yes, good job, good job. Circle the mouse. Circle, circle. This is a toilet paper roll cut down. I use this for circle a lot, especially with the letters too. Yeah, it works really well. Sometimes I'll draw my whiteboard if I have to, but they really get that. And this is 2-7. So this student has either started at level 2-7 from their trial uh, because they had some English ability um, from uh, primary school in China where they attended or from, you know, their parents. Or they started probably around level two, unit one. So they've taken 12 <laughs> lessons uh, in unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, unit five, unit six, and now they're in seventh. They probably know how to circle. <laughs> Maybe not though, so you can always show them. Mm, 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 mm. Elephant? Yes or no? No. <laughs> eh, eh, elephant. Yes, very good. <gasps> Letter E. Eh, eh, very good, very good. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. <gasps> Monkey? Yes or no? Mm, mm. Monkey, very good, monkey. <laughs> circle, circle, monkey. Yes, perfect job, Sarah. Well done, well done. <laughs> e, G, egg, egg, egg. I always underline on the slide when I do um, any blending sounds, when I do any um, rhymes, I always um, underline them. And I want her to repeat it too, of course. E, G, egg, egg, egg. Hmm. Good job, very good job. B, egg, bag, perfect. Hmm. I've underlined L, sorry, you can't see me underlining. I want to see if she knows the sound. Yes, ooh, ooh, egg, ooh, egg, leg. Um, so it's important on this slide, um, they really want um, synthetic phonics. So they don't want to hear B and they don't want to hear L. They want to hear B. So it sounds kind of like you're you're spitting a you know, b, um, not b, b, and they want to hear l l l, kind of that back of your you know roof of your mouth, um, back of your mouth sound. They want to hear la, they want to hear l l l. So make sure you do synthetic phonics on those. Oh, and I've got um, TPR for each letter, b b b. Um, that's one of them for letter B, and I've got synthetic phonics um, videos in my Facebook group as well. All right, so we've done l egg leg. Excellent job. Well done, Sarah. Well done. Here's a star. Hmm. Meow, meow. Do you like cats? Meow, meow. Yes, me too. Me too. <gasps> she has a cat. Um, I keep emphasizing she, and I guess, you know, that might sound strange, um, but they actually, they learn, you know, she for a girl, he for a boy. So again, this is just like review um, built into my reward system. I like to do that a lot. Um, so they've started learning that in these, um, in this unit already, she and he. Um, in fact, they'll learn he feels, she feels, I feel, we feel. Um, so they'll do that verb conjugation as well. So again, with my reward system, I'm just always um, trying to actively review and, and add in if I can. All right, so the next one, let's go ahead and continue on. I am talking about everything I'm doing. I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> I, I, hmm. I have many feelings feelings f can be hard for the students sometimes so sometimes i'll get really close f feelings good job good job <laughs> i feel sad <laughs> I feel sad. Very good, very good. <gasps> yes, very good, very good.
good. I underline as I go. Sorry. I feel happy. So I'm seeing if she can read it because we've already done these. Yes. Very good. I feel happy. Yes. Very good. Very good. I've underlined I feel angry. I feel angry. Good job. Good job. Angry. Yes. Sometimes angry can be hard too. Well done. Well done. Here's a star. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. N -n 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 necklace. Oh, necklace. She has a necklace. Yes. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so now we've done she has, even though we just did I have. So that's that verb conjugation, just them kind of getting used to it, hearing it a lot. Hello, Dino. <laughs> hmm. How do you feel? I'm underlining it again, of course. Yes. She's already said, I feel angry. Yes. Well done. Hmm. How do you feel? I've underlined, I feel happy. Yes, well done, well done, happy. <laughs> perfect job, perfect job. Feel, I wanna make sure she gets that F, they can have a hard time with it often. Well done, well done. Hmm, angry, -er. happy. I'm going to circle the red face. Hmm. Angry or happy? Draw a line. I usually make that sound effect. I don't have to say draw a line when they know it, but you might want to say draw a line. Draw a line. Yes! Well done, well done. Er, angry. Er, well done, well done. Now I'm going to circle. I'll do the bottom right corner. Hmm. Angry or happy? Happy! Well done! Well done! Now I'm going to circle the green one. Hmm. I'm not going to give directions this time, Shereen knows. Yes! Well done! Well done! I feel angry. Yes! I want the whole sentence. Very good. Now I'm going to circle the other smiley face. I feel happy. Excellent job, Sarah. Well done, well done. <gasps> Here's a star. Ooh. Do, 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 do. <gasps> she has a purse. P -p purse. Well done. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and they love things, you know, ridiculous things like that. Like, clearly, I don't even have a purse in my hand, but they'll do the same thing with you. Do, 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 do. Or a lot of times they'll grab their little pencil bag or their little purse. <gasps> purse, purse, purse. And of course, I tell them it's a pencil bag if it's, you know, not a purse, but <laughs> a pencil pouch. But um, yeah, they love to show you their things. So they get so excited. Ah, oh, Sarah, well done today. Very good job. <gasps> you earned. Ding! All five stars. Well done, well done. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she is a princess. <laughs> Sarah, you are a princess. <laughs> Sarah, good job today. <gasps> See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Uh, obviously, if this is a boy, you don't want to do a uh, princess reward system <laughs> with a little girl. Um, but if you have a little girl, they, you know, they go crazy for things like that. Um, so anyway, this is my walkthrough. 
If you have any questions, um, like I said, you um, are welcome to add me as your referring teacher and contact me uh, via email. I'll leave my email below or via Facebook. Uh, I am very easy to find. No one has my name. Um, all of my family members, it's my husband's family name, uh, Castronopolis, are actually men. So there's not even another female Castronopolis you could accidentally add on Facebook. I am the only one. You'll only see a few um, men. He has seven brothers, all boys, no girls in that family. So uh, except our daughter, we have a little girl. <laughs> but um, I have four children. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that is my walkthrough. I hope that you find it super helpful. If you have any um, questions, like I said, uh, feel free to add me, um, ask me below, and I'll try to get those answered for you. Lots and lots of luck. Um, after this, like I said, you're going to take a mock. You'll be able to choose between uh, beginner static lessons, beginner uh, interactive lessons, or intermediate static lessons. Uh, intermediate interactive are coming, but they're not here yet. Um, so I have walkthrough videos for all of those as well. And I have lots and lots of tips, um, reward system examples, all sorts of things, uh, physical rewards. You don't have to use Manicam um, like I do. So like I said, I am, I'm here to help and I wish you lots of luck. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, I always forget that too. And if you can like and subscribe, especially like if you um, don't need my assistance or have a referring teacher, that's great. But if you could just like and subscribe as your thanks for my walkthrough, I would super, super appreciate it because I make like zero dollars off of my YouTube videos. I didn't realize I should be asking people to like and subscribe for the last like over a year and a half. Uh, so I just started started that <laughs> and it'd be really helpful because maybe I can make some pennies down the road. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Goodbye.